you uh, talk about the, the hair, why you grew it long and why you cut it. Well, uh, it all started freshman year. Uh, Trent Fisher and I decided um, that we would have an agreement, just, you know, change it up a little bit, grow hair out for a year. And uh, long story short, it ended up being uh, a little over two and a half years that uh, we grew out our hair. And uh, I had the idea that once it got long enough, I would, I would uh, donate it. So um, that was the decision I made, and that's what I did this weekend, just, you know, cut it off and going with a different look now. <laughs> Anyone get video of you uh, getting a haircut? I got a few pictures. Uh, not any video, though. <laughs> you feel lighter? Oh yeah, that's probably like three, three or four pounds of hair. <laughs> locks of love, is that what it was? Uh, I haven't decided yet, okay. um, but locks of love, you know, one of the associations that I can do now. Um, talk about Arkansas. You see a team, you know, obviously going to come in and throw the ball and, and spread you guys out some. How much have you already watched them, and, and what do you think of their offense? Um, I mean, their offense is always explosive. Um, you know, they are really good at uh, stretching the downfield and uh, getting explosive plays, and uh, that's something that we have that we need to get better on is explosive plays uh, in the passing and running game. So um, it's definitely a goal this week is to improve in that area, and uh, I think we can do it. Just uh, you know, like I said, like you said, get in the film room and uh, you know, get that get that correct. Jake, what you guys do a lot better against LSU than your first three opponents? I just think it was a mentality um, and obviously preparation. Um, I just think that everybody played together that week. And uh, there's a lot, there's still a lot of mistakes made that we can develop and get better with, um, uh, which is a, a plus. So there's, there's still a lot of upside this defense has, and I'm excited to see what we can do with it. I'm, how much different, I guess, more difficult is it when you face a team that's going to spread the field, a lot of different formations and things like you guys have faced a lot already this season? Well, like you said, we've seen it a lot. And it's nothing that uh, we haven't prepared for already. Um, and, you, you know, it's just it's just you take every week, uh, you know, with a lot of effort and uh, you just you just put a lot of time in it. And, and you'll get it uh, as each day goes by. Um, and you just got to keep keep on working, you know, and uh, like you said, it's nothing that we haven't seen yet, so. How much of a sense of urgency is both these teams, you really don't want to keep, you don't want to lose anymore, and you're going to have ball hopes, so how much of a sense of urgency do you think there is for both teams? Uh, I mean, there's always a sense of urgency every week, uh, but, you know, this week is, is an SEC, you know, game. It's always, it's always a big emphasis on, um, you know, Winning uh, like it is every week, but uh, it's you know conference play, and uh, you know you got to go out there and get the win. Jake, you guys fit a lot better against LSU. It just seemed like you kind of knew where to go better. Is that just you guys getting familiar, or, or why did you guys step up so much against LSU? Uh, it's just uh, you know understanding leverage, running ball, understanding uh, each player's job, and uh, we did that well. And again, there's a lot that we can get better at. Um, there's some things that we didn't do correctly. Uh, we were still able to uh, be productive on the field, which is which is good. What are those things? What, what needs to be better going this week? Uh, it's just execution. Um, it's always that. It's always uh, each player doing their job. Each player uh, making plays. Um, you know, attacking downhill, getting to the ball. You know, it's just uh, individually. Uh, that's what you have to do. But as a team, you know, uh, knowing that the guy next to you is going to do his job, and uh, you know, playing playing together. When you go back and watch, what, what's kind of stood out to you about a little struggle on defense when teams kind of spread you out and, and get you a nickel and then run the ball, ball some? I mean, that'll be something that you'll have to face against Arkansas. What have you seen in kind of those problems? Have just been a matter of just fitting or, or just, you know, what kind of puts your finger on that? Um, it's just, you know, it's not one thing. Uh, we, do, we have played a lot of nickel this year. Uh, and, you know, I think that's why a lot of the safeties have gotten a lot of tackles. But again, you know, it comes down to uh, individual players uh, doing their jobs, and uh, you know, no missed tackles. Uh, that's a lot of the reason why uh, explosive plays have come about uh, in the run game, um, and then people executing their job in the pass game. Do you feel like what we saw against LSU was kind of like a new level for this defense that you guys really were kind of stepping up and? Yeah, I think it was a good foundation. Um, 
you know, it's just something that we can, it's that step forward, it's that step up to our goal where we want to be as number one defense in the nation. Where have you seen Adam Wilson? Uh, I mean, even in the past years, uh, he's always a good, he's always a good quarterback. Uh, he, he's very, um, uh, he's, great, he's a great leader and um, he knows what he's doing back there. But uh, I mean, you know, just like any other team we play, we prepare for him and we go out there and we stop him. For some reasons, it was easy to have many motivations, places to look against LSU. Not a night game Saturday, it's not the number two team in the country. Where does that extra motivation come from outside that setting? Um, well, you just, you have to, I mean, it's a home game. There's always a lot of motivation. Um, you have target walk, you have all those things, you know, that, but uh, individually, you, you just have your, you have your goals each week. And uh, individually, you want to, you want to do your job, you want to execute your job, and you want to get better. Um, and, you know, as a team, like, like I said earlier, uh, you just, you want to uh, get the win. So, um, I mean, there really isn't a whole lot of, uh, what I'm trying to say is, the team, can, you know, the team can create its own motivation. So it's not, uh, you know, it's not hard to do that. Each week, you just, you know, you want to win. So that's the motivation in itself. Jack Coach has said that the last four practices, you guys have kind of taken it to another level. Do you think it's been different than previous weeks in practice? Uh, yeah, I mean, practices have been uh, more intense. Uh, just when. For example, when somebody would make a play, uh, the team gets excited for the other, you know for the other player, and uh, that's just that's team football. And you know we didn't have that in the past, and now we're moving toward that, and uh, it's definitely a positive. Anything else? Thanks, Jake. Have you decided where where that hair's going to go yet? I haven't decided. Just yet. like some organization that does that. Right. Yeah. Um, either locks of love. I was thinking Pantene. I know Pantene does.